So now let's move on to the next disorder of primary hemostasis and that's microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. I know that this is a mouthful name, but the disease description is lying in its name. So you can, if you look at, look carefully at its name, you can get uh, some clues about the disease itself. So now microangio um, stands for small vessels, angio vessels, micro small, so micro micro means that small vessels. This is happening, a pathologic formation of platelets in a small vessels. Now hemolytic, you may ask why there is anemia and hemolytic, and that's because when we have formation of these pathologic formation of these platelet plug, they are um narrowing this um this small vessel and that causes shearing of these erythrocyte and that causes damage to these erythrocyte and that um, forms these schistocytes. Now schistocytes are these damaged erythrocytes you can see on this smear and uh, you can compare them to a normal erythrocytes and you can see that they have a different shape um, uh, compared to a normal healthy erythrocytes. Um, so uh, in these patients, normally we can see um, presence of these schistocytes. Um, there are two forms of microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. The first form is TTP. Um, TTP stands for thrombotic uh, thrombocytopenic purpura. And, and when we are forming these thrombus, we are using uh, we are using platelets. And when you use these platelets, you are um, reducing the circulating platelets and that's why we encounter thrombocytopenia and that causes bleeding in the skin purpura. Now this is due to large enclave multimers of von Willebrand factors. You know well, middle Willebrand factors they come in multimers and via an enzyme called ADAMTS13 we are cleaving these multimers into uh, into monomers and and, and when there is a defective, um, ADMTS, um, 13 enzyme, then we have TTP. Now, another form of this disease is HUS, and that's a hemolytic uremic syndrome. And hemolytic uremic syndrome is, um, related to endothelial damage by drug or infection. This can occur, uh, when there is, for example, uh, infection with uh, E. coli 10157H7. And, uh, this uh, form of bacteria itself has a veritaxine which causes damage to the endothelial surface and that can cause hemolytic uremic syndrome. This can happen to children uh, who have consumed, for example, undercooked meat.